Hi, welcome to my Linux Mint 18.1 Serena. It's been fine-tuned to have a beautiful desktop and with a, fetch, a screen fetch you'll know everything you need to know. A new arc dark red theme, so it's a red color instead of the blue color and um, set as H and the kernel is not up to date. So I thought why not make a tutorial about that one. You do know already that I work with uh, scripting and on GitHub Eric Dubois we have a Linux Mint 18.1 Ultimate one than this one. So a lot of scripts just double click and install Slack, Spotify and so on. I'm gonna show you how to add a new script for the new kernel. There's a new kernel out. So how do you proceed to get a new kernel? You can use my scripts, reuse your my scripts with Ctrl C, Ctrl V. You have yourself a copy, change it to the correct name, which is going to be 6. And then you open it with Sublime Text is my preference, because you can also write in uh, protected parts. You take this part, and the only thing that's going to change is the end, which is not 5, but 6. So once I see Google Plus image uh, text, uh, messages that there is a new kernel out. I just take the time to copy paste stuff. Uh, you can also use an installation of a program which is called UKUU and it will pop up and tell you to uh, update. But I'd rather do it with scripts so I want this one, the old app one. Copy link location and then I can copy paste it here. So I have a link to a part of the three parts of a kernel and we have to take a look because I don't want the low latency so these two are out of the question so it's the old app it's the second one I am copying for a 64 bit machine of course you have to figure out what you have and then copy the appropriate appropriate link so this one would be correct, not a low latency area. So this one would be the correct one. Copy link location. And then of course we're gonna recheck if everything is okay. We don't want to make mistakes with kernels. So 666 here, so that's correct. We have as well here 496, 496. We have an old app, an old app, generic, generic. So no latency, it didn't make any mistakes. We save it and now it's it's done the only thing we have to do is run it and you can run it by double clicking and say run it in the terminal or you rather want to see the end result and that it doesn't when when the installation is finished and it doesn't go off so you see the end result and you can follow it update to 6 version 1 and there we go we install if we download first three packages and that's it now you just have to wait till it finishes and everything will be uh, installed. That concludes this movie.